Okay, Charlie, let's take a look at this again just for future reference on a project if you get another project like this. Um, I'm looking at the coordinate file you sent me on another screen, so first thing we want to do is enter those coordinates. And I'm pretty certain the S they have for the easting is wrong, so I'm pretty sure it's North, there are northing and easting coordinates, not northing and south. That wouldn't make any sense. So anyway, um, the first thing we want to do is have the coordinate file set, which you can see up here at the top. I have the coordinate file set to the same name as the drawing to put the points in. And I'm going to go to, uh, we'll just go to points and draw locate points and you want to make sure you have elevations turned on and descriptions turned on and I'm just using that SPT0 symbol you can change it to whatever you want uh, locate on real Z axis point numbers automatic point numbering we're going to start with point number one uh, erase duplicates we don't have anything in there so it's not going to matter um, and then I'm just going to enter and assign since I know have those coordinates on that sheet and I'm just going to type in uh, from that sheet the coordinates that they've given us which is 6430550.7896 for the northing and the easting is 1677 Four eight seven point seven zero four six, and the elevation is eleven ninety point nine six, and their description is TP ten thousand four. And based on that drawing, that looks correct. So I'm going to enter the second one they've given us. Which is a northing of 643-166.7187 and 167.384. Point one two three zero with an elevation of eleven eighty point five three and this one is TP eleven or ten thousand five and that's the two coordinate <coughs> control points for the project uh, personally I'd like to have three or four but if that's all they've given you I know there's a couple more down here quite a ways away but there are there is another one here and another one here uh, on the area that's going to be just destroyed um, so you could throw those in there if you wanted to for uh, to tie in check everything but basically you're just going to go out and find these two control points and set up on one and backside the other and do your own thing here now we're talking about creating a file well I'm going to enter to exit out of that we don't have any more coordinates we're going to create a file to take out to the data collector so that we have the lines to stake in the field. Now we talked about if you had the civil module we could elevate all of these lines to the surface that we created which would be great. Um, without the civil module you would have to kind of manually move these lines to give them elevation in, in our stakeout file 
there's another way we can do it. We could leave those lines on zero and we just have to exit out of a command and then into another command. Um, so it's not the easiest in the data collector to do it if your lines are not 3D, but you could still do it. Um, so basically, uh, we want to isolate the lines that we want for our project uh, and, and create another drawing. So I'm just going to go to View, Isolate Layers, and I'm going to isolate. I think you were staking these swales. You were staking the road. You were staking limits of disturbance and these swales or the uh, sedimentation erosion control fences uh, let's see. basically we, I just isolate all those we don't need the contours um, I don't know if you're doing this soil or not we can add it. Um, I think the CS8 was in there. It's another fence. you get the idea. So we're just going to isolate all those and then we're just going to W block that out into a, a separate drawing. W block and we're going to do entities and we're going to select the entities. We're going to do We'll call it um, just stake, something like that, whatever you want. We'll we will um, select all those entities. I think we created it. Let's open it. Um, stake. Yeah. So now we have the drawing with the lines that we want to stake out in the field. And it should be good and clean and only have those layers and not a whole bunch of blocks and it should be a nice small drawing. So from there we'll go into the data collector and I'll show you how to import this. Okay Charlie, now we're in Surf PC, which is the same of, as a uh, Surf CE, just on a PC. So everything should be the same as what you have. I think I might be on the same version and all that. So. I'm, first thing, I'm just going to do a continue last job. I created a job called Cabins, and uh, you know, all the job settings are set up uh, as normal. You don't have any kind of points or anything. You probably would import those two control points. I don't have those into in a. Well, I guess I can go ahead and do that. Um import well I guess I can't uh, trying to think I think I can go to world file file tools. I guess I can't I guess I just need to open that file I created.
Well, basically, you would just open that coordinate file with those two coordinate points in it, or you could actually just enter and assign them in here um, into this coordinate file. Six one half dozen the other. So you could just go to points and add and enter those coordinates in there, and then you would have those control points in there that way also. So either way. So let's go to opening that drawing so that we can see it. Well, I guess I already did it once, so uh, we see our lines in here. But uh, here's how I did that: was I just went to File, DXF, DWD, GGN, Import Drawing, and you would just find it on your data collector and I did stake I got that invalid draw, drawing version once before and basically you need to go into that drawing and save it back as a 2010 um, I thought it was just because the drawing was open but apparently not um, apparently for it to come into this version maybe I'm back a version is why I don't know let's see equipment about serve PC yeah I'm running four I think in five it would probably work without a problem and that's what you're running I'm still running four so I think it would work with the new drawing format without having to save back but for my purposes in version four here I have to save the drawing back to version 2010 before I can import it but basically after you import it you'll you'll see your your lines and everything on the drawing and it's just kind of like a little CAD environment and you can see all your lines and everything so basically we can if we went into survey and stake a line we can just pick that line to stake from the screen we would just go in here and pick this line um, from I think I picked the wrong one never never mind um, stake line Define alignment, select polyline. We would just select that polyline and green check. And now we can stake anything on that polyline. So we can do offsets. We could do it at a certain interval, like a 50 foot interval, starting with station zero. It's telling me that we've got 4,574.711 feet of line that we can stake and if you wanted to offset left or right we can do that blah 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 so we'll just green check and now we are heading towards our line and we see our first zero zero is at that beginning of that line which is way down there so that's what it's trying to go stake and it's telling me I need to go left 1700 feet um, whoa <laughs> now yeah, I locked it up that's why I was saying it's, it's really difficult to do this in on here in uh, an assumed environment but that's you can stake a line define alignments select polyline you can do a center line file which we don't have we can define a point list so if you have points you could say I want to stake from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 in that define point list yeah, right here let's just escape back out of there um, and we have uh, verticals where we can do profiles also but uh, we don't have anything vertical wise 
so and you can also stake points like if you just want to stake a specific point on one of those lines like I did there number one we can just say from the end point right there and it's going to get give us those coordinates now if that was a 3d line we would also have the elevations we don't have the elevations so we would just green check and it's trying to drive to that point but since I'm out to lunch it's given me this invalid position message there we go uh, if I could turn it around and get it back there and then slow it down because we're five billion feet away or something Well, anyway, so that's staking a point. You can just pick any point from the screen. You're just picking this pencil button over here and zoom in way out to lunch. So this is zoom extents, zoom in, zoom out, zoom a window, previous, and to a point number right here. So if I wanted to say zoom to point number one and it would give us uh, our factor that we want to scale to is and so it would zoom and put that one at the center and then we have our picks just like AutoCAD endpoint midpoint center uh, crossing near perpendicular tangent so basically that's how you would just use your lines to stake whatever you want now we have the tin so we can also do elevation difference without having the 3d polylines well, like I was saying earlier you just have to go you would have to stake first stake your line or stake your points and then you would have to basically exit out of that command and go back to elevation difference and do your grid file and stake um, select that surface and then it's going to tell us what our cut and fill is at that point so it's still doing that invalid position from receiver I would have to go in here and do um, a localization and maybe get it back um, how do I do that points um, I'm going to delete that one and then add one screen pick it I'm just going to do something in here I'll read from GPS well it's doing this thing where the GPS simulation is GPSing or simulating that we don't have any position that it's autonomous so. and we could sit here all day waiting for the stupid thing to go back I don't know why they simulate the autonomous or non-fixed or whatever but there should be a way to uh, command it to stay fixed so that I don't have to sit here and try to do that that's why I'm saying it's pretty much impossible for me to show you how to do it in here uh, that's the basics of bringing it in but uh, I, I'm not sure how I'll just show you anymore because <laughs> it's uh, being a pain but that's the basics of bringing in just your, your drawing file so you can stake lines and bringing in your tin for you, so you can do the elevation difference. Um, 
pretty much it.